I'm here with the Serbian Wonder Woman, Anya. She's gonna show me some traditional Serbian food that's gonna be super good, probably. Join me. Where are we going right now? So we're going to the old town of Zemun. What you is know, it? The cover, old town of Zemun. Old town of Zemun. Yeah, because Zemun is a municipality in Belgrade, but there is also that old, old part from the Austrian uh, Empire period of time. You can see this beautiful architecture. So cute. What's your favorite part of uh, all of Serbia? I love the whole Serbia. Oh, Serbia. <laughs> this is it? Yeah. Oh. You can't even tell it's a restaurant. Uh, it's up over there. But I don't know why they still have the sign over here as well. Never mind. So they, they moved it. I got stairs for you just to make sure. You gotta burn some calories before you yeah, of course. get your meal. That's awesome. It's like a five star restaurant. <laughs> Got a fireplace. Whoa. This is awesome. So, would you say this is like a hidden gem in Belgrade? Mm -hmm. Really? Are these just for uh, decoration? Probably like dry. I'm gonna try to eat them anyways. Mm -hmm. What are we? What's the? What's the best? At this place. I'm to try soups. Uh, Telec chorba wheel soup is so good. I can't explain what words. Wheel one sounds good. I have a couple of questions about the Serbian culture. I know a couple of things I think will impress you. One, I know they're, uh, they're very family oriented and they, they live together, right? So there's not like a, like in America, there's a taboo on anybody who's like, they look down on guys and people who, uh, they still live, with who live with their parents. Here, not so much. Especially in the villages, because uh, in the villages they usually have one big house and they live over there. Or they make another house in the uh, yard of their big uh, uh, land that they own as well. Yeah. So it's, so it's, it's parents and, uh, and, and their kids. Is, is there cases where the grandparents are there too? Of course. Oh really? Like they usually make so uh, like two or three floor building. Uh, oh. House, and then on the on the first floor, the grandparents are living. On the second floor, you're living with your children, and probably your son is, or your uh, daughter is going to live on the third floor. Wow. That happens as well, but it's not like uh, uh, the most common rule. There are different variations. Did we take the main meal? No. No. <laughs> there are quite a lot. Of the things. pressure is on you. <laughs> you represent Serbia. Oof. I need one rakia to, uh, to make this All right. <laughs> which, one, which one do you think is best? My favorite is turkey with linsi. Turkey? Turkey, meat, and the combination of special dish is linsi, authentic pasta. That's what you're going to eat. Thank you. This is the veal. It looks good. The soup is ready, All right? You should try it. What's your soup? Mine is a clear soup with homemade uh, this kind of pasta. Uh -huh. It's uh, like a chicken soup. All right, so this is the first time I'm trying Serbian food officially. And it looks good. It's good. I don't usually have soups, but this is pretty good. Your guide is forcing you to have one. <laughs> How's yours? Mm. Amazing. What would you rate it? One to ten. I would give it a nine. Nine? Yeah, and I will I will add a little bit of pepper. So I'm very bad at describing uh, food, but this <laughs> kind of tastes like uh, 
kind of like a really good version of chicken noodle soup that's probably gonna be offensive <laughs> it's interesting not offensive I would give this an 8 out of 10 mm -hmm. so I got a question when it comes to Serbian culture is there something that they do like somebody gets married right mm -hmm. is there a special thing that they do in, in the marriage ceremonies you know how oh, like the Jewish people break so many things is there like so many things that you can't even imagine tell me tell me like a few because I'm very interested okay so the the groom has to buy the bride he has to buy her yes really he goes uh, with his friends with his family with everybody from his part he goes to her house and uh, in the bedroom she's in the bedroom he doesn't didn't see her for like a day or two comes in with a bag of cash <laughs> She, uh, he comes to the door of the bedroom and there are her, her friends and her uh, her best friends and bridesmaids they're in front of the door and they're like uh, how much are you giving uh, for our uh, for our girl and he's like I'm giving you uh, let's say 50 euros negotiation yeah and they're like no, 50 euros, 50 euros. Dang. <laughs> It's too That's little. cheap. And then, but this is the start of the bargaining. Uh huh. And then he's like, okay, I'm going to give you 100 more. And they're like, no, we're not leaving without 1,000. Wow. And then he's like, okay, but let's do 600. And then they're bargaining like that. Let's say, uh, approximately like that. That's very interesting. Mm -hmm. And then it, it sounds they... fun too. I'm excited to try some meaty things. So this is turkey with uh... with malinci. Malinci is a kind of pasta. Oh, this looks amazing. Both of them look amazing, actually. Mm -hmm. So those are ribs. You probably have tried already ribs sometimes, but this is a Serbian way with with baked potatoes and kaimak. Kaimak is the best. I've never seen. This dish before, but this one looks familiar. I don't have ribs that often, so I'm excited to try it. And this kind of you're going to love. Especially this one. Mm -hmm. This one looks more appetizing than that. <laughs> this looks like uh, something that a very big meat lover would yeah. eat. What's on top? Is it like that is a pasta? The pasta. Oh, so mm -hmm. it's like a lasagna, kind of. Mm. Oh, I Maybe see. Maybe like similar. Here we go. Trying the turkey. What was it called? Juretina samlinsima. Jurenika samlinskia. Blinsima. Blinsima. All right. First time trying this dish. It looked more appetizing before I cut it up, but it's still good. It still looks good. Let's see. <laughs> Mm. The pasta is so good. Mm. It's very good. It's like a 9 out of 10 for sure. Mm -hmm. It doesn't taste like anything we have in America. How would you rate yours? This is too strong meat for me. Is it? Mm -hmm. It's very, very strong. But the tomatoes are amazing. <laughs> potatoes, sorry. So it comes with potatoes and meat. Mm -hmm. and kaima mm -hmm. and this one's just the turkey with pasta let's try the rib what's this called in serbian ribarca, ribarca. Mm -hmm. trying the ribarca mm -hmm. wow very juicy mm -hmm. very good Tastes like a really, 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 really good bacon. Mm -hmm. 9.5. The one that like had a lot of strong flavors that are really tasty is the meat and the pasta over here. Mm -hmm. The meat on the turkey 
not that big of a fan of, of turkey, but the pasta is amazing. Yeah. Pasta is not very strong. It's soft. Yeah. It's juicy. It has a little bit of a dairy feeling, mm -hmm. but it also has a pasta uh, flavor. Trying Kaymar for the first time. I've seen so many videos of people making this stuff online. Mm -hmm. I've never had it. Wow, very strong flavor. It's very good. <laughs> and you do you know about our traditional alcohol? <laughs> rakia? Rakia, that's right. Do you know that we drink rakia first thing in the morning? First thing in the morning? No way. Yes. So, uh, rakia is cleaning your body when you drink it early in the morning before breakfast. So one shot before breakfast and it just prepares the body for the day and cleans everything. Because it's a very strong alcohol. Some of the homemade rakias can go up to 60% uh, of alcohol. And it, it's bad if you're a child in Serbia because if you have a wound somewhere, like you fall and you get injured, they will clean it with with rakia. So it's and that like burns a... like hell. Burns like hell. So it's it's kind of like a go-to medicine. Yeah. You got a flu, get rakia. Yeah. Right. Thank you guys so much for watching me try uh, what were the dishes? Churetina uh, samlincima, some kind of knedle, and rebarca. You guys are coming to Belgrade. She's the best guide here. So thank you for watching.